Your baby girl can't wait to give you that great big hug when you come home. Flyers had gone up, makeshift memorials next to where Goods Gray BMW was found unoccupied under suspicious circumstances. P guys welcome back to the mill carton series i'm your host stephanie if you are new and as always guys thank you for tuning in to another episode today's episode focuses on 21 year old sarah good sarah was a mother and a medical technician who lived in the long island new york area when her life abruptly ended in june of 2014 now this story like all the others you know always shocks me to my core especially when i see and hear about young girls dying especially from someone they put some trust in you know so Sarah she was a hard worker she was a medical technician she was doing what she truly liked to do and she was a mother to an amazing little girl she loves to help people also <laughs> and her laugh is like so loud now on June 6 of 2014 Sarah decided she wanted to go hang out with her friends you guys remember what it was like being 21 finally able to drink and just live in your life. So Sarah went to this party and little did she know this would be her last party. Now there is a photo that was taken on this night at the party with Sarah hanging out with her friends. And I just look at this photo and I'm like, who would have thought moments after this photo that this young lady would die. You know, like, if that was my friend, like, oh my goodness, like, we're all hanging out, having a great time, and then abruptly my friend is no longer here anymore. Like, it's just something that you, it's, you know, like, if you ever lost anyone, you're just like, what the world? So, leading up to, from the party, it has been stated that Sarah was receiving different text messages from a guy by the name of Dante Taylor. Dante is a 19 year old. He was also an ex former Marine and he was also at this party and he will come up just a little bit as I get into this story. So when Sarah did not return home the next day, her mother really wasn't worried. It was when Sarah did not come to her nephew's birthday party is when the family got worried because that was very unlike Sarah. She was big on family and I mean, she was gonna probably, you know, take her daughter to her nephew's birthday party. So when Sarah did not come to that, this is when her family decided it was time to put out a missing persons report. And then shortly two days after doing so, Sarah's car ends up turning up. Her car was, abandoned about a mile from her home and when law enforcement got to the vehicle nothing was broken into of course or taken but they did find a bloody fingerprint and there was other, other bloody bodily fluids in the vehicle but there was no sign of Sarah. Now on June 12th when searchers volunteers were out looking for Sarah in this wooded area they did come across Sarah's partially naked body from the waist down. These woods are dangerous. They call the cops, there's sexual activities, there's all kinds of things that goes on that day. This is not far from the home where Good lived with her mother and four-year-old daughter. Now, now, Sarah's body was brought in for autopsy and it had been determined that she was brutally raped and stabbed over 40 times. She was stabbed so bad that the metal from whatever she was stabbed with was still stuck in her skull, y'all. Do you know how much hatred you have to have in your heart to stab someone 40 times? 40 freaking times. And then to the point, the metal part is stuck in your skull. Like, I know I have a big head, so I can only imagine, like, what? So, let's get back to Dante Taylor. Again, Dante is 19 years of age. Dante was also at this party. Dante and Sarah knew each other. She just had so much genuine love and a big heart. It had been stated in one of the articles that I read that will be linked down below that Sarah did know Dante. They were in similar neighborhoods and they had a passion for talking about the military background because it had been reported that Sarah did have family also in the military. Now, there isn't a reason why Dante it had been called an ex-former Marine. I did not find out that information, but 
that's neither here or there. But it did report that Sarah turned down Dante. Sarah did not want to go through with his advances that he was potentially doing. And I can kind of understand that. I mean, if you're thinking someone's your friend, we chit chat here and there, we live in the similar neighborhoods or whatever, you know, maybe you just see this person as a friend. You're not really trying to date them. You're not really trying to do all of that. Cause at the end of the day, you're a mom and you're just trying to get on your grind. I can understand that, but not all men <laughs> like to take no. So on July 12th of 2014, Dante was taken in and arrested for the murder of Sarah. He, they had linked certain messages to the two, kind of pinpointing him to being the last individual around Sarah. But Dante was released and he was released because it had been stated that law enforcement had taken DNA and other evidence without reading Dante his Miranda rights or having more probable cause. And when I read that, I was like, oh my gosh, how do you forget to read someone their Miranda rights? Like, do you know how detrimental that is? Like, did you forget? Were you so excited that you got him that you forgot? So they did have to release Dante. But I always say, once you are guilty of something, a person is going to tell on themselves. So within a month of being released, he was also rearrested in Florida. He was rearrested for something else not related to the crime of Sarah Good. But I always say individuals who do stuff will always get caught no matter how hard they try to cover up their bad side. Their bad side will always creep through and it will always show. So then he was officially charged with the murder of Sarah Good. And prosecutors in the case did reenact the entire scene of what happened with Sarah and what they believed had happened that night, that Dante pretty much made advances at Sarah. And when she declined, this is when he decided that he was going to brutally rape and kill her for this. And I also wonder like, why he got this not disbarred but why he became an ex former marine and why he had so much built up animosity and hatred because 40 times you you hated someone you hated this individual and there has to be some more issues going on for you to go off on someone like that and in that man the defense basically tried to say that um he pretty much help Sarah, but then someone else did the crime. No, baby, he did it. He did it. He killed Sarah, sad to say. Beautiful young mother, just out to relieve the pressures of motherhood and life for just a solitary night. Dante Taylor, for your conviction of murder in the first degree on count one, your sentence is life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Remanded defendant. As if this wasn't enough, him being charged, then being released, then being back charged, found guilty. In 2017, Dante was found in his cell, murdered. Well, suicide, murder. His family does not believe that he did suicide. They do believe that he was murdered because Dante had got into some fights within the jail and they ultimately think someone had killed him. Now, there isn't any Anything that I could find to support those claims. So I did find something. This photo was taken on October 6, 2017, and Dante did die in October of 2017 as well. So this photo was taken before he passed away. So I guess there is some belief that, you know, he could have been murdered. You know, no one deserves to die, although they do such a heinous crime. But I did feel like I should throw this in here because I did find that information for you guys. So let me know what you think down below. Nonetheless, it doesn't take away from the death of Sarah Good. Sarah lost her life. So let's get back into this. But Dante, at the end of the day, died in prison. And it sucks because two families lost two individuals and it was a crime that truly didn't even need to happen. It was like 
if she didn't want to date you, she didn't want to talk to you or have sex with you, you have to learn to take no for an answer. And it sucks because you can tell people no all day long. Like some people just don't want to hear no. They don't want to hear that you don't want to date them, have sex with them or whatever the case is. And it's like, my body is not yours. This is mine. I don't give a flying F what I say or do. This is my body. And the moment I say no is the moment that you need to leave me the F alone. I don't understand people when it comes to that. Do, do we not understand what no means? No means no. <laughs> but that is truly the sad case of Sarah Good. Sarah Good was 21 years old. She has so much life to live and she just was beginning to start, you know? And I can only imagine how her family feels. It sucks because at the end of the day, two people lost two of their most prized possessions, their children, their cousin, their family. And it, it was something that didn't even need to happen because I'm pretty sure she was nice to you. You guys were friends and then you lost your life. And I was looking at the photo like, you're a handsome guy. You did not even have to rape anybody. You didn't even have to kill anybody. I don't understand that with certain people. Like you look nice, but again, some people don't like to hear no. And we have to do better with, I know for me, putting ourselves in situations, no, we're not to blame, but we have to do a better job of not putting ourselves, when we get a gut feeling that something is off, don't get in a car with a mother effort who you who you feel like really wants to date you or, you know, and might try something. You know, we I feel like we have to do better as well to, and just not putting ourselves in bad situations. No, it doesn't mean that we deserve what happens, but when your gut tells you something, listen. Because you're getting a gut feeling for a reason. And it's truly sad because this girl was probably nothing but nice to this man. And he decided that, oh, well, I'm going to do what I want. 19 years of age and 21. Life ruined. So sad. It just pisses me off when I hear these cases. But what can you do? All I can do is share them and hope that someone out there learns from this. So guys, that is today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and join our family. So bye guys. I'll see you in the next video.